you guys. In today's video, we are finally repotting those plants that I've been talking about for several videos now, including my larger Monstera Deliciosa. I finally refreshed my substrate, so I got some new pond, Lecca, Perlite, and I have a bunch of plants that need to be repotted, so let's get into it. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys because I noticed this today, and if my voice sounds a little different, like I sound like I was sick or something, I wasn't. It was actually a mouse in my house and I never knew I was that afraid of mice until I saw it. So judging by my voice, you can probably assume how I reacted. But anyways, this morning I woke up and I noticed that my Nepenthes, oh, you guys definitely already saw this on my Instagram, but his little cap opened on the top. This one right here, that's one of the pictures that I grew on my own since I've had this plant. And look, that is so cool. His little cap right here that's opened. It was closed last night. Let me zoom in. Oh my God. Look at how sweet. But like I was saying, his little cap was closed and it finally opened. And I'm not sure if you can see, but right here, he made his own little bug juice like they do. When I noticed this, I was so pumped to see that it finally opened. Because if you guys have been following me, you know that some of the pictures have died. I didn't even cut this one off, the one that dried out before it became an actual picture. But this is the only one that has made it so far and it's so exciting to see that I grew this myself. I did recently repot this plant just into a plastic vessel. He was in a black pot but I couldn't see through it and it was making me nervous so I put him in this little plastic cup. You can probably see a little bit better without the pot but oh my god I'm so pumped for this. Then I just wanted to show you the new leaf that's coming in on my El Chaco Red because it's absolutely stunning. Take a look at that. So beautiful, oh my god. I always say I can never get over this plant because I will never get over this plant. It's definitely my number one favorite in my collection. I don't think that leaf is gonna be as big as the last leaf, which is this humongous leaf right here. But it's still so freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna... <coughs> I really want my voice to go back to normal. When I saw that mouse, I literally screamed like someone was murdering me and I couldn't help it. Like I'm really scared of mice and why is there one in my house? <sighs> Any little noise I hear, I think it's a mouse and everyone currently thinks I'm crazy. But let's hop into this repotting because we have a lot of work to do. Okay, should we start from the biggest plant to the smallest plant, get the hard work out of the way first? I think we should because there's a lot. I think we should do the big one, right? Should we, should we? I really want to repot this one. This is a plant that we're going to be repotting. This is my Monstera Albo. Let me back up. This is one of the plants that we're going to be repotting today because the way it's sucking up water, like I almost have to water this plant every single day, but my Monstera Albo definitely needs a repot. She's grown way past her moss pole, which I don't think I'm going to extend today, honestly, because it's just more work. I'm not sure how you would extend these poles. Like, how would you connect one on top of here? I'm very curious. I'm gonna have to find a solution though because I don't know. Or we can propagate it. Maybe I'll take a top cut with these two leaves right here. I don't know yet. Cause this plant currently has a leaf coming out right now. It's really rooted into the moss pole. I'm not sure how well you can see the roots, but they're in there. So I don't plan on taking her off the moss pole. Maybe we should repot her first. Yeah, let's repot my little monster elbow first. So I'm trying to debate if I want to propagate this because I've been propagating my plants a little too much and this one's getting quite tall. I mean, it's not as variegated as I would like it to be and propagating it would probably promote that, but I want my plants to get big. Like I wanna see some fenestrations and I know if I cut this plant, I'm not gonna see a fenestration for even longer as opposed to if I didn't propagate it. So I think we're gonna leave it alone. And we're gonna leave all my plants alone, propagation wise, for a while. Let me sip my little tea. Oh my God. It's so hot, but my grandma told me like, my grandma told me when I was little that you have to drink tea while it's hot, so. That's been burned in my mind. Like this tea is burning my tongue. But it's helping. Cause my voice, oh my God, it's really aggravating me. Like it's kind of hard to talk, honestly. Why was I screaming like that though? <laughs> 
So today's Sunday. I think I went to job law on Friday and I picked up a bunch of pots because I knew I wanted to repot a bunch of plants this weekend. And the pot that I picked up to repot my elbow in, which one was it? I literally made a list because I'll forget. I literally have short term memory loss. Monstera elbow is going in the ribbed pot that I got. And that is, that's this pot right here. Let me get this guy out of the way so we can actually see. I hate when it gets dark, like why? What the wrong with y'all? I got this pot right here. I think it's terracotta. Is it terracotta? It doesn't say, but it's definitely, I think it's terracotta. But I noticed that it had a plug, which I was very happy about because I do have plugs around my house, but different, they're all different sizes and they all end up coming out for some reason. So I was excited to see that this had a little plug in it. Ah! And it looks like the perfect pot to size up to from this pot. So let's do it. Ugh! Okay. Boom, Lekka. Ah! My God. So I just wanted to show you really quickly that I have a bunch of pond right here already cleaned off because my process of cleaning off Lekka and pond is just a series of me dumping water on it until all of that nasty stuff comes off of it. All the, ooh, all the dust, very tall. And then I got some Lekka here. This Lekka is so weird because I don't think I've ever bought Lekka that was shaped like this, which is so funny. They're like little ovals. Which is cool, I don't really think the shape matters at all. Maybe the size, but not the shape. They're all different sizes though, so don't be alarmed. Like look at this little tiny one compared to this chunky one. Like they're all different sizes. Some are round. I'll put them in my Amazon storefront. This was a good bag of Lekka. Honestly, I've noticed since I've been doing semi-hydro, Lekka has gone up in price for sure. I used to be able to get 10 liters for $12, and now 10 liters is $25, a lot of places. I think I got these from Viastone. I don't know, I'll link them in my Amazon storefront. But I got these ones, it was 10 liters for $20. So $5 less, but still $10, almost $10 more than what I used to pay for it, which is crazy. Okay, oh my God, I'm so excited. Only because I'm repotting some of my favorite plants in this video. I'm repotting my fiddle leaf figs. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. Okay, I changed the camera angle a little bit because I just want you guys to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm doing the same exact thing I do in every repot video, which is put Lekka on the bottom and fill the most, and fill most of it up with pawn. But I really want to see these roots, so let's go. People always ask me, why do I wear gloves? Like... And I don't know if you examined your plants, but sometimes there's little mites crawling around. Even, even if your plants are in a semi-hydro setup, there are still bugs in there. And I don't need those bugs all over my hands. But you do you, and I'll do me. Oh no, I got makeup on my shirt. A goddamn shame. Oh no, not on my lap. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my God, I forgot the moss pole was filled up halfway with Lekka and it all just fell out. Moss, <gasps> no. Eliana? Yeah? Keep, give me a roll of napkins out the kitchen. So much for the drainage plug. So that plug for the drainage hole totally failed me. So I just kind of melted one in. And that is where we are at now. But let's get back to repotting because wow. So this is what the roots are looking like. They're all bunched up together, and I, know, and I know this pot probably seems a little big, but I know that the pot that it's in right now is too small, probably because the moss pole. There are a lot of roots coming out of the moss pole, so I think those roots are sucking up a lot of the water. And I also want the plant to get a lot bigger, so I do want to pot it into a pot that's gonna support that. So let's just transfer him like this. I'm gonna try to squish the moss pole down so that the Lekka could go back in the stick. That didn't work at all. So we're gonna have to refill the pole. One second. Just filling this back up really quick. Let's see what it do.
Okay, I think that's enough. Um, Leka, I'm gonna get some pawn now. Take a little look inside. Oh my God. And then look at this. It's so heavy. But look at it, oh my god, I'm so excited. This was the last leaf that came out, which is a lot bigger than this leaf. A lot less variegation, but a lot bigger, which is exciting. I'm really, really hoping that the next leaf has some fenestrations on it, but I really do need to extend the moss pole, so I might even have to do that off camera, like not in a video. I had to go show my niece because it just looks so good. I feel like the camera doesn't even capture it as good, but wow i'm so happy you guys really have no idea how excited i am to be repotting these plants i'm standing up because the next plant is huge this is a plant we are going to be repotting next first of all it's not even in here it's in here this pot this is like a 10 inch pot i think and it's a little bit like it's not that tall it's pretty short and then this is what the plant looks like it looks so good wow I've been putting repotting this plant off for God knows how long. And I know it probably hates me for it, so let's get her out of here. This is another job lot pot right here. I think this was only 12 bucks. It's plastic and it's lightweight. And that's the thing with bigger plants and semi-hydro. You really don't want these big ceramic pots. Like they're super, super heavy. They're beautiful. They are beautiful, but they're so heavy. So for a plant like this, I definitely got this flimsy. $12 job lot pot, but it's huge. So it's okay. And I think I'm just gonna like grab it, honestly. Oh shit, it's stuck. It's really, really stuck. I'm just gonna dump it. Shit just got in my tea, oh my god. Oh god, this is not a good idea. I'm putting this pot in here so I don't get Leka everywhere. Guys, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what that's looking like. They're so dense because that pot was way too small for them. on my plant all I ever wanted was a lightweight monstera deliciosa I'm super excited it feels so good you guys remember how heavy my monstera deliciosa used to be the old one the old one that's actually this one too but you know what I mean never again and next up is the long-awaited repot of my calathea orbifolia what's she looking like what's she looking like what's she looking like she's looking like she lost another leaf and that's really disappointing so let's get that out of there and it looks like the other one is rotting or something. I don't, damn, I don't know. But let's get it out of the pot. I really want to just dump this because it's been too long. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. This definitely needed a repot. Look at this. I think it had bulbs in it when I potted it though. Look at that. Those store water in those. Wow, not that bad though. It was not, definitely not as bad as I thought. And I'm gonna be repotting her in this bubble pot that I got from Walmart, super cute. And I am gonna be adding LECA to the bottom. I started using a new pesticide for my plant, which I'll probably talk about in next week's video. I've just been working so much. My schedule changed for the better, like I have more days off, but I'd be tired. I think it's actually gonna work for my plant, so I'm super excited. I think I put too much. Yeah, that's too much. And I'm just gonna take the whole thing and just sit her down. I think it needs to be a little lower though. So I'm gonna pour a little bit more left out. Okay, that's perfect. Guys, if I see that mouse right now, I'm probably gonna have a heart attack. 
Like I'm about to go do exposure therapy because I can't be living like this. Oh my God, yay. Okay, Calathea, go off. Look at this. It looks so much better in this cute little pot. Where's the water? Boop. Wow. Very nice. Not as cute as she used to be, but I'm hoping with the repot, she starts to take off again. So happy that the roots did not look that bad. I'm running out of room for plants. I'm so excited to repot the next plant because it's my, not my favorite. It's my fiddle leaf fig and she only gets repotted. She only gets repotted on rare occasions because I don't like to mess with her. When I had a fiddle leaf fig in soil, like that was the bane of my existence at the time because I could not get that plant right. I think the inside of my glove is wet, ew. Let me stop talking and show her. Guys, look at how marvelous this has turned out for me. Like, I was impressed with myself when it was a lot smaller than this. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know I grew this plant from a stick with no leaves on it, so I'm really proud that it's grown to be this big. It has several leaves on it. It's currently putting out, oh, well, it's going to be putting out a new leaf soon, and I'm just so ecstatic to have this plant in my collection. How cool. But she isn't mostly Lekka. Oh, am I gonna be able to keep it that way? Because I don't have that much Lekka after repotting my Monstera Deliciosa. Maybe she can handle a little bit of pawn. But I'm literally just upsizing her from this pot to this pot. It's just a little bit bigger. I think that's good. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, it's coming for me. The water's coming for me. Oh. The fiddle leaf fig is stuck though. Like I poured it and look, it's... Oh no, I'm actually kind of concerned. Oh no, I don't want to ruin you. I'm just trying to loosen it a little bit. Wow, she did need a re- <laughs> Look at this. Fiddle leaf fig roots, I never get to see them. This is so cool. Gosh, I can't even grab the pot. Everything is wet and juicy. I'm just going to stick her right in here before I backfill. Yeah, make sure all the roots are down there. I'm just gonna backfill with what she has in the pot, actually. Okay, okay. A little bit of pawn. I really like how Lekka looks on the top of the pot with the fiddle leaf fig. So I am gonna, let's see. Oh yeah, there's still more Lekka. So I'm just gonna put Lekka on the top because I really, really love how that looks. I always have with the fiddle leaf fig. Oh, that's not like a, that looks like something disgusting. There we go. Now you look like you have all Lekka and you don't. Oh, she's much happier that she's in a bigger pot now. I did not know that her situation was so tight and I'm so glad I checked on it today, honestly. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until my next video, bye guys. That was fucking hot. Thank you, camera, for not overheating on me. Let me not speak too soon. Does my voice sound better yet? Oh my god, I think it does. In Miami with a motherfucking feet out ah, with another good bitch. Says she got a feet out. Ah, I walked in the party. All I ever wanted is a. Let me see if you can swim, little nigga. What did I just step on, bro? Hopefully not a mouse. <laughs> Try to get away from me. Can't stand up. When I get a song stuck in my head, it like plays over and over and over and over again. <laughs>